Rule your own world. Okay, chicken time is 1 p.m. Morning and welcome back to Bangkok, baby. It is a very early morning. It is very early. We're changing hostels, but it's the classic, oh, you can't check in for another hour. Why do that? Why not just be like, check-ins at one, check-outs at one? <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. you know, just give it a quick spruce about, quick lick over. Happy days, we're backpackers, we don't care if someone slept in the bed before us. It's true. So we found a little vegan cafe, we're gonna go for some proper breakfast, fuel up for the day. Yeah. Because I think today, we're gonna go to a rooftop pool and then maybe a rooftop bar because this is our last day in Bangkok. I can't believe it's our last day. Mental. We had like so many... Hang on, he's on the pavement. Okay. We had so many plans to do loads of stuff but I don't think we realised how fun Suncrum would be and we spent three days doing it so we're a bit behind. So if you didn't work out that vlog, that was shot over three days, you didn't get all that footage in one day. Yeah. It was sneaky. But yeah, you know me, love a good rooftop pool, an infinity pool. So I'm going to Google the best one to go to and hopefully it's not like 25 quid to get into. Maybe we can sneak in. Maybe. Not like this, obviously I'll do, I'll put some makeup on so it looks like we could possibly be staying there. We have snuck into rooftop pools in Bangkok before. Yeah. But yeah. it's harder with the posher ones, but we'll have a go. But for now, we need to eat. Uh, why are you making me walk 15 minutes, Craig? It's Honestly, this kid is so lazy. No, Shut up, man. She's got a little tea towel lying out of her bag. It's for when I faint and I spew on myself, okay? Ugh. Your little free shoes. We found this and it's open. Go vegan. I mean, is that on the cap? I think it was So we have arrived, and the guy was like, um, maybe upstairs. So uh, we've come upstairs, and now they've handed us these. Do you think they think we smell, Craig? <laughs> is this for washing with? For wash I mean, with. I hope it is, because. I can feel it drip, dripping down my, my belly rolls. Oh, lovely. You made me walk. Winner. She's a keeper. They're like, oh, we'll just stick them upstairs in the corner. Give them something to wash with. Bless them. They must have a house. <laughs> Let them sit with a cat. <laughs> Love the look of your little uh, fluorescent yellow eggs. Tofu, isn't it? How good is this? What's happening? I've got a club sandwich. It's like eggs and bacon and... Jazz. What are you like? <laughs> <laughs> Amy, Amy looked up from her phone to ask me how my food was. And she was like, how's your food? Gone. <laughs> it's gone. It was good. It was all gone. It must have been really good for you. <laughs> I still got like loads left. I think I'm just going to take most of mine home and have it for dinner. You're a little flannel. I'm eating that, not me. You are a flannel. <laughs> Well, they left over there. <laughs> <laughs> this boy, honestly. You oh. <laughs> <laughs> just spit everywhere. He's taken off all the stuff that we, we videoed yesterday off the camera cards, and he's like, Discovery Canada just started following us on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> and now he's looking at flights. We're going in like three weeks. <laughs> We're going to end up working with them. So, Mum, I'm in, Craig. I'm fully in. You say I'm ridiculous, and then you're like, that sounds like a good plan. <laughs> it's just funny, though, isn't it? It's because, like, sometimes you get an email through, and it's like, Right, we're going to we're going to Japan. When did that happen? I missed that. Well, not Japan, like, <laughs> but well, Iceland. Iceland happened. Iceland did happen. It's just so much fun, though, isn't it? Mm. Like, should we get all deep now? Like, I'm super proud of everything we've done because it gives us the opportunity to do this and to work with people and just meet the best people who like own their own businesses and are just super happy and passionate about life, isn't they? Yeah. And yeah, I just. We should be really happy and proud of ourselves, Craig, and really like, like we're in Thailand, for God's sake. We're having a lovely vegan breakfast. Oh, yeah, and I babe. just, I don't know, I guess I'm just feeling a bit of mush today. Don't cry, babe. I think I might though. But um, it's good though, because like King and it is everything we wanted it to be, and we've like built it from the floor up. And we're doing all right. 
You're doing really well, man. You should be proud of yourself. Proud of you? I'm proud of you. I just, I just sort of tagged along. I haven't got a clue what's going on. Just like, croak, croak, I need the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you just look after yourself. Oh, I'm just, I'm just in a real grateful mood today. Good. Like really, really happy, yeah. Gratitude is the one. Gratitude is key. I just can't wait to see where we go and what we do. Like we've got so many plans for this year that we can't choose, can we? No. But we'll get there. We'll figure it out. The saying of the year, Craig. We'll get there. Well, your own will, yeah. <laughs> did well. I just say all that with food in my teeth? You did, yeah. <laughs> How are you getting on, buddy? <sighs> Never got a lift, have they? Thanks for carrying my bags. <laughs> get in, will you? Okay, new room. Number 14, Old Town Hospital, here we go. Ah. Oh, that's nice, big. Where's the aircon, bro? Oh, clock there, that's all right. You're safe for now. This is pretty cool, massive in here. So this is our room. And then you got the men's toilets by here. And then the women's down the bottom, which is where Amy's gone. Don't wreck the toilet. Can't take you anywhere. You look smart. Cheers. Thanks, trash up market. <laughs> so somehow it's four o'clock. We've checked into the hostel. Spent the last three hours just trying to find something to do. But we've got a rooftop pool lined up. But first we need to stop at Terminal 21, which is like a shopping place, because we've got two broken GoPro frames. So we need to get them replaced. So we're gonna have our little sarnies from the shop. We're like, where should we go for lunch? And we're like, actually, <laughs> so save ourselves some money. Mm. We're gonna eat this, get a grab, and then crack on. So yeah, we're heading to a rooftop pool, which I'm really excited about. We have to pay for this one though. It's like 500 baht per person, which is like 12 pound 50, which is quite expensive, but it looks really cool. I've forgotten the name of it, let you know soon. Oh yeah, so we forgot to um, say why we're all dressed up and stuff. We're gonna go to a rooftop bar after for some drinks. And there's a strict dress code, so no flip-flops and no no scatty crigs. No so, shit clothes. So we had to dress up. That's why I look like a sailor today. <laughs> I'm thinking of laying on the floor just for a real cool Instagram shot. Look how cool this is. Like, see where she goes with my grass. You need to leave. <laughs> Taxi! You know it's a big shopping mall when there's a Golden Gate Bridge in it. Yeah. I'd just like to thank my mom, my dog. What's happening? So we sat down to get some food and it smells like wet dog, so we're gonna go and find somewhere else. Poisonous that is, isn't it? Right to the back of your throat. We didn't have what we wanted, so we've gotta to go to another mall now to find some more GoPro shit. You fuming, yeah. I am fuming. I'm I think I'm hangry. The smell of wet dog just put me off. Somebody feed this man. Some really pretty dress shops. Crick, crick, I'm going to dress shop. Amy said the other day, she just likes buying things. She doesn't even care what it is. She's like the ultimate consumer. You walk in a supermarket and, and Amy's like looking at dog food. Like, oh, yes. <gasps> H&M. It's freezing. So far we haven't paid yet, so hopefully we can sneak out and get away with it because it's like 25 quid if you don't stay here. That's because we look so posh, see? But the case. But we did find one of the GoPro things and the guy was like, yeah, I want to charge you big bucks. Obviously we looked like we could afford it, so uh, sometimes it doesn't pay to look posh. Okay, we're about to make our escape. Hopefully we can do it. So, like, usually we just, like, walk out nice and cash and uh, nobody really stops us. But we actually asked where the pool was this time and no one was like, oh, you actually need to pay before you go there. 
so the last time we tried this in Vietnam when they chased us down the street so they did actually stop <laughs> us so uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens now Shut up. Where's this bar then, kid? Okay, so I think we made it out safely. Do we, do we run or should we run or? And now we are heading to a Our rooftop family, bar. that's just parked. <laughs> so, actually we've got a driver coming for us, even better. I think we've done it, kid. I think we've done it. £25 pounds saved. Well, we're only there for 40 minutes. Come on. No. You can't judge us. You can't judge us for that either. Bullshit. <laughs> Run. Tuk tuk. <laughs> We don't need anything now. You're not getting it. You don't need it. We've just been camera shopping. He's in his element. The camera shops here are next level. It's like seven. And they've just got every single lens and GoPro accessory you can ever imagine. We only came in here for two little clips and we ended up buying two frames and maybe a new dome for the Hero 5. We're getting it. Trying to drag him out and he's just like, oh, the next camera shop, the next camera shop. I remember this when I want to go in H&M next time. He's done it, haven't he? Talked me into buying a GoPro Hero 5 dome. We've got the four, but it's a little bit broke. Sometimes it lets condensation in and stuff. So I'm definitely getting a dress out of this, 150%. Fair dues to him, we're going to the islands next and it is a necessity. Our picture's gonna be great. Look at him, it's like a, a little boy in like a candy shop. I'm getting a dress. Wait, just stand, stand by there a minute. That's going to be you real soon. We stop for some food. We're going to eat this and then we're going to the rooftop bar. Amy's got food envy. Should I just have bang yours? Mine looks banging. Looks nicer than mine. Got fried tofu with coconut oil. Coconut milk. That looks lovely. Half and one. Half and one. We've arrived. I've never really been sick on a tuk-tuk. I feel real travel sick right now. What a mental drive though, it was absolutely insane. So we've arrived with our lives, thank goodness. It looks really posh. Glad we're dressed for the occasion. I'll have this in my bedroom, please. I'd love to trip him up now. What level is it? The change at the 23rd. Who oh. even does that though? And then where? 55. Oh, 55 floor. That is high, that is, isn't it? I'll take an elevator when we build our house. Please, sir. You're going to be obese in no time, sir. What's this place called? It's called the Red Sky Bar. Ooh, I think it's quite new as well. Is it? It says relatively new, yeah. It says relatively new yeah, on the does, website. Does, yeah. Red Sky Bar, relatively new. Floor's Red Craig. That means Red Sky Bar. Oh. <laughs> Did you just fart? Give your name in, Craig, so they can kick you out. Wow. Oh my god, it's really high. Pretty beautiful, isn't it? Fantastic, Craig. It doesn't feel right being up here, but you said you feel a bit. He's feeling a bit dizzy. Jelly so legs. Big. So much to take in. You just see the whole city. It's amazing. It's amazing. What do you think of the red sky bar then, bruv? It's purple at the moment, but it's nice, isn't it? Really nice. It's expensive, really expensive, but you pay you pay for the view, don't you? It's free to get in, but bloody hell. It just it's kind of like when you go up high in New York and when you're down low you don't see how massive it is and you get up high and you're just like holy shit 
different perspective, isn't it? That's crazy. How much was a Bellini? What's a Bellini? It was a thousand baht. What is a Bellini? I always like champagne in that. Oh, is it? Yeah, you ain't getting one. <laughs> I might, but you ain't. Got a little Chinese beer, didn't I? How much is a thousand baht? 25 quid. For a drink. It's about this big as well. Oh my nan. If you had a sky bar, Craig, what would you call it? Massive as fuck. <laughs> We're leaving. And just like that, we're back at the hostel. That is it for Bangkok. What a bloody week has been. Oh, we're in love with this city, aren't we? So, so amazing. It's something here that's telling us to just come and live here for a while. Watch this space, you <laughs> never know. You never know. But it's literally my favorite city. I think, I think it's, yeah, it's definitely my favorite city. There's so it's much like, to do in there. Yeah, it is heaps to do. It's, it's kind of like, a bit grittier, really cheap version of New York, you know? Yeah, I suppose. This has got everything. It's got the shopping, it's got the rooftop bars, it's got the night markets, yeah. it's got the amazing, amazing food. So good. Everything's just like super sized as well. Yeah. Super colours, like super smells. It's fabulous. It is. So good. We're going to be sad to go tomorrow, but tomorrow we're heading down to the island. So that'll be lovely too. It'll be a Change of scenery, beaches and whatnot. Yeah, so first stop is Koh Samoy. So that is it for today. If you're brand spanking new, thanks so much for riding around with us. And please click subscribe. And if you're not new guys, thanks a bunch for sticking with us. We bloody love you, you know we do. I'm super tired now, so I'm gonna round this up real quick. Rule your own world, guys. Always remember it. And we'll see you in Koh Samoy. One, two, three, bye. bye.